Next, I will show how to apply the one variance chi-square procedure to test a statistical claim about a population variance. Consider the following example. For a certain drug, a standard deviation of capsule weights of less than 2 mg is acceptable. A sample of 10 capsules was taken and the weights are provided in the problem. At 1% significance level, test the claim that the standard deviation is 0.7. First, let's note that the sample variance is 1.32. Now, let's identify the statistical claim that needs to be tested. The claim is that the standard deviation is 0.7. The key words standard deviation suggest that the claim is about the parameter sigma, so we can symbolically express the claim as sigma is equal to 0.7 which is equivalent to the claim that the variance is equal to 0.49. Since the claim is about the population variance, we will use the one variance chi-squared procedure. Before we begin the one variance chi-squared procedure, let's check if all necessary assumptions are satisfied. The sample must be assumed simple random. If not, then the results of the test are invalid. The population also must be normal. We will use the following template to perform the hypothesis testing. In step 1, we will set up the hypothesis. In step 2, we will identify the significance level. In step 3, we will find the test statistic using the formula. In step 4, we will perform either the critical value approach or p-value approach to test the claim. In step 5, we will draw the conclusion and finally, in step 6, we will interpret the results. Since our claim sigma squared is 0 0.49 is in the form of an equation, we are going to set it up as the null hypothesis. Therefore, the alternative hypothesis, which is always in the form of an inequality, must be carefully chosen depending on the context. Since there is no any indication of one-sided inequality in the problem, we set the alternative hypothesis as sigma squared is not equal 0 0.49. So the test is two-tailed. Step 1 is complete. The significance level can always be found in the statement of the problem. In our case, it is 1%. Step 2 is complete. The test statistic can be found using the formula. In our case, the test statistic chi-square 0 is equal to 24.24. Step 3 is complete. Next, we will test the hypothesis using two different approaches, the critical value and the p-value. In the critical value approach, we construct the rejection region. In this approach, we need to know the significance level alpha and the type of the test. We draw the rejection region under the chi-square probability density curve with 9 degrees of freedom, according to the type of the test. So a two-tailed test will have the rejection region in both tails. The region must have the total area equal to the significance level 1%. The critical values that define the rejection region are chi-square 0.995 and chi-square 0.005. So the entire region can be described as all the values to the left of 1.73 and to the right of 23.59. In p-value approach, we compute the p-value. In this approach, we need to know the test statistic and the type of the test. We find the p-value using the chi-square probability density curve with 9 degrees of freedom, according to the type of the test. So in a two-tailed test, the p-value is the area outside of the test statistic multiplied by 2. Symbolically, it can be expressed as probability of chi-squared greater than 24.24 times 2, which is 2 times 0 0.0039. Zero. 
In the critical value approach, we must check whether the test statistic is in the rejection region or not. Our test statistic is 24.24 and it is to the right of the critical value 23.59. Thus, it is in the rejection region. In the p-value approach, we must check whether the p-value is less than the significance level or not. Our p-value is 0 0.0078 and it is less than alpha. Both tests suggest that we do reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative. Next, we are going to interpret the results. Interpretation. Under 1% significance level, we do have sufficient evidence to suggest that the variance is not 0 0.49, and therefore the standard deviation is not 0 0.7. The hypothesis test is complete. I just showed how to apply the one variance chi-square procedure to test a statistical claim about a population variance or standard deviation.